good morning friends as uh, need pg counseling has been started and uh, many of them were asking uh, whether to take uh, microbiology or uh, uh, some other subjects okay and this video will clarify you uh, all the doubts and okay so coming for first we'll see the uh, the advantages is like uh, it is like an office job only so it will be like maximum 9 to 4 pm only but during the steady period no it will be like uh, depending upon our seniors that is uh, because uh, as during study period uh, we'll be having uh, like lab work etc so maximum i think even uh, whatever it will be like 8 30 pm okay 30 am you'll be starting and maximum up to 4 or 5 that's all so next uh, that's the main advantage for uh, the timings okay so coming for next is it is good for academics and the research so you can do uh, a number of research works everything that is uh, again you can do in this uh, field uh, because uh, now you know i think the infectious are emerging a lot so that uh, again it will be a useful only so coming for a uh, family so it is very uh, suitable for uh, females because since it is about 9 to 4 pm you can come and you can take care of a family that would be very helpful if you're taking this uh, generally non-clinicals is okay and and there won't be any night duties okay um, usually there won't be any night duties but uh, some other like uh, if there is any outbreak like dengue on me so maximum uh, this duty can this 4 pm or 5 pm can maximum extend up to uh, 8 pm that too it is a very rare scenario uh, what I'm talking is uh, in government colleges, okay. This can happen in uh, government colleges. That's another point. And so, okay, after studying, what you can do is uh, you can go for any private labs. That too, you want to settle in a, a cities because uh, what happening is uh, nowadays many labs, they'll be having only the MSCs, okay. So the people who are finishing MSc uh, and PhD and all, they will be uh, taking care of the private labs. But in cities, it is not possible. Okay, uh, what I'm saying is like uh, Chennai, Coimbatore, there will be any number of labs, but they are preferring our MD doctors. Okay, so that make that's it. So because nine to four, the college is getting over. After that, you can set up a private clinic since you are having a MD degree. So you can uh, just put a board and then you can uh, run a private practice. So it is an extra income for that. Okay. So regarding uh, what's uh, another point I want to say here. So government college and private college. Okay. So what is the difference is um, whatever colleges. Okay. The only thing is we want to study. So that's the first point. Because uh, we can't expect uh, like a UG level. Okay. So because we will be reading because they, they won't even say the uh, books and all. So just we want to read. So basically uh, there is uh, nothing much difference between the private and the government college. The only difference is a case load. And coming for the cons. So what is it only what I told is that is a setup. So so where you are settling that's a mainly uh, it's a key point over here okay whether it is in a city or it is a town uh, because uh, the larger cities will be having a well uh, established lab so that it will be useful that's all there is not that much cons okay so if you want a job opportunities after you are completing your md it's better to settle in cities that's all okay so after md what you can do here is there are three options is it so one is you can do for dnb so friends again uh, there is a uh, if you are writing a dnb you can after finishing md you can straightly write a dnb okay that is you can write only the exams so you can write theory exam and practicals that's all so uh, what is that uh, you you no need to go for again uh, the hospitals and all you can Stately apply for DNB. That's the only advantage. So after finishing MD. So there is a, another uh, course that is an hospital infection control and uh, it is uh, in Nimans. Okay. So as far as you know, it is in Nimans and in Chennai, I think it is a Rila Institute. Okay, they are both they are offering uh, this hospital infection control. Uh, what is that uh, course? 
so that you can do that also <coughs> sorry and coming for next it is an uh, you can do a dm that is it is an infectious disease that is super specialty for us so okay and so these are the opportunities after completing the md exam one point i want to say here is uh, when you are studying in any colleges it can be the government college or private college so just have a friendly behavior with the, your seniors and the lab technicians over there because uh, they are the one who are gonna to help you so at the beginning you'll be having a lot of practical works and both your seniors and lab technician they are all well trained okay so that uh, if you're having a friendly behavior they will be helping you in all aspects especially the seniors they will be helping in your dissertation topic or whatever it is so that is an uh, important point you won't remember uh, if you're taking uh, any pg courses okay so friends and these are the uh, what is that uh, the pros and the cons of taking microbiology and books you can read and how to approach these subjects so first uh, these are the two basic books okay so one it is an uh, what we read in our ug that is an anantanarayanan and panikar and another it is an uh, apurpa sastri okay and this apurpa sastri book it is used both the by uh, by ugs and the pgs so what happens is and this is an important books that you, you must have these books in your hands okay so so next for uh, virology you can uh, have this book that is in javits book and for mycology it is in uh, jigrish chandar and for parasitology it is in ananta narayanan and panikkar and again it is in apurpa sastri so next for immunology you can follow qb immunology and then uh, roids okay these are the uh, important books for immunology and for practicals so bailey and scott diagnostic microbiology and another it is in koneman color atlas and textbook of diagnostic microbiology okay so friends uh, what i am saying is so these if you are uh, so first if you are reading one topic uh, for example i am saying if you are reading staphylococcus aureus okay so what you will do is first read from a basic books so our basic book is first it is an ananta narayanan and then apurpa sastri so first you read the topic in these books so make it thorough so you can keep uh, one book as a base okay so okay you can keep apurpa sastri as a base so now what you will do is uh, what are the extra points is there from ananta narayanan you can copy it over to the um, apurpa sastri so next you refer these books like uh, one book is bailey and scott diagnostic microbiology and koneman books so this uh, you can uh, see the staphylococcus aureus in these books too it will be very good for uh, theory and practicals so what you will do is so you just go through this and here you will be getting some of the important points okay so again you can make it over some you can make it as a notes so you can paste it to in the same books or you can uh, make a separate note okay so so the end of the examination it will be very useful for you and what are the other books in mycology there is another book called as a larone and fisher so these books on the pictorial uh, representation will be very good in these books okay so i think uh, these books are not available but it will be like uh, pdf is are available in our websites so you can take the uh, what is a uh, printout and you can just keep it off okay so on this book is a topley and the wilson it is a reference book so you can in this for this book you can go to library that is an fine and these two books you can take off the pdf printout okay so so what i'm saying is so first you finish uh, ananta narayanan and apurpa sastri so and then go for i told right bailey and koneman i'm sure some important points will be there friends so that you can um, mark it over the same book so for mycology as i told it is an uh, jagadish chandar it is for theory okay and for practical it is an lerone 
and fission okay so this will be useful for you so why i am saying these books and all because uh, i came to know these books at the end of my uh, second year what i want to know is if you know these books so you can start the preparation from the first year itself so that it will be very useful for you right and so these are the books uh, you wanted to go through for sample collections okay uh, after that uh, if you go to lab you will come to an idea so okay so what are the samples have been collected so next you want to have a pocket note in your so lab coat because uh, you will daily you will come across some of the doubt questions you can just um, make a note over a pocket note and you can come to your room and you can make a reference so another important point i want to say is uh, don't make it as a habit okay we can learn in second year or first year Gee, sorry second year or the during the uh, exam time so your preparation start from the day one of your pg period so take the notes as much as possible so if you're taking uh, as i told already if you're taking on uh, if you're ready if you're reading some topic like uh, it is in staphylococcus or yes i told no so just go through all the books so some point will be there so you want to buy these books that is an anantanarayanan um, apurva sastri and javits also will be good and again mycology you want to buy both the books and for parasitology again you want to buy both the books this immunology it is an option if you can uh, you can buy or you can make a, a pdf so bailey and scott you want to buy and then uh, koneman compulsory you want to buy uh, laron and this fisher you can take out a printout okay so um, uh, make uh, as much as notes as possible so that will be uh, helpful for your uh, final year exams so again friends uh, if you want any approach for your practical exams okay how i want to learn uh, how i want to uh, approach for any practical exams during my pg exam uh, just if you come uh, put uh, in a comment section so i'll be putting a separate video for that oh, okay uh, thank you friends